Jocelyn and I have just landed in Mexico City. This is the city with some of the best food in the world. So come join us on this little adventure today. All right, we are now headed to La Merced Market to eat some bomb Mexican food. I'm excited, I'm so hungry right now. I'm gonna eat the whole damn market. Let's get this. We're getting an Uber over there. Uh, we gotta go find the Uber. It's really crowded around here. It's a bit wild. It is a bit wild, yeah. All right, guys, well. We're not even in the market yet. Not in the market. <laughs> we gotta find the food, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. It is busy out here. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, our first taco. What is it? Fries? <laughs> With nopales? But people were getting it, so. People were getting it. Look look good. Smell good. So we'll just try it out. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. That's a different one. I've never seen fries on the tacos. The fries are really good. Really <laughs> <Yeah>. crispy. <laughs> nice. Interesting. How's the salsa? It's really good. Yeah, Spice, the fries yeah. actually work with this. Oh yeah? That's cool. All right. I'm good. That right there that was uh, 40. That's 40 pesos, which is about uh, $2. $2 for dollar each. Let me try this. I mean, it looks awesome. I didn't think this would be the first uh, one we stopped at. Nice and spicy. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty bomb. One dollar. Worth it. Yeah, this spot seems pretty popping right here. People are getting at it. <laughs> yeah. The whole area is super chaotic. Mm. Alright, that was good. Let's go to the next. Alright, we're gonna try this one. Okay. Gracias. Ah. Yeah, I that's think, refreshing. I think you're really gonna like wheat la coche. Oh, this is my first time having wheat la coche. Yeah, delicacy. Oh, I've been wanting to try this so for a long time. Wheat la coche. All right, hold that. Here we go. Mm. Nice and cheesy. But really good. Yeah, I think you could use, we could use some some salsa in here. Salsa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Kind of has a faint taste of corn. Goes on the corn. Yeah. It's like the fungus of corn. Yeah. I can't really tell what kind of flavor it is actually, but. That's good. It's a pretty light flavor. Yeah, it's, it's like nothing, you get like a little burst of it and then it's yeah. a tortilla. It's nothing strong. It's not like a like a truffle or something. Really good. good stuff, good stuff. Let's get it going. Let's keep it going. 
Yeah, two dollars for a mic guy and a quesadilla, the wheat licoche quesadilla. All right, we're gonna try this place. Okay, look at that. Oh, it has rice. The hominy. You can get a plain too if you just want to do it. Yeah, that's we got tortillas too. Ooh. That is really good. This is really good too. When you've had too much tacos and you just need something so mm. a little light. A little light. Mexico City that's famous for this caldo? Um, or is it just this this market? No, it's I think it's Mexico little... City it's kind of common. Okay. But my mom makes this and she's not from Mexico City. Yeah. No, definitely not seen these. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? It's the scene out with sour cream. Oh, okay. I don't know about tacos, but I assume. Yeah. Then again, no one's putting sour cream on there. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna eat it? Sure. This one is popping too. This spot is popping. Mm. Good? Mm hmm. Getting cold. Can't eat more. Mm. I love the nopales on everything. The fish? Yeah, fish. The meat is hella good. Mm. Just found another stall that just looks irresistibly good. <laughs> Take a look at that one. Oh, damn. That thing's loaded. <laughs> How do you eat that? I think you grab each end. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, there's no polish again. I love that. I love that. Because it's so good, it's so flavorful. I'm not even sure. It's really good. It's so big. <laughs> well, these nopales are really good. Yeah, these nopales are so good. I think we're gonna go get some ice cream actually. And pulque. And we can find pulque. pulque. And pulque. It's like some kind of alcoholic drink. It's like fermented agave. I've never had it, so. Never had it. We've never had it. <laughs> so we're gonna go check that out. Uh, see if we can find it somewhere. So we're gonna go find those two things. Take a little break and then go out to dinner. <laughs> ah, tired. Tired, huh? We did a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. Now some ice cream. Good? Yeah, tart. Mm -hmm. Mango. Yeah. Refreshing? Yeah, very refreshing. If you go to like um more traditional places and not like this kind of like fancy, um, they have more flavors like mame, nanche, okay. very Mexican flavors. Mm. Good. Yeah. Very refreshing. Very sorbet. Mm. All right. Oh, go try to find that. Find the drinks. What's it called again? Okay. Porque. All right, we'll see you there. Okay, vámonos a la porquería. Oh, I'm so full. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here now. About to get some porque. Y tenemos parados de cacao, de mazapán, de dos rojos. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
Cute they are. Cute little cups. <laughs> Should make these. Yeah, so we didn't even order anything, it just they just brought it out to us. Can you drink this one first? Yeah. Is it like a shot or um I think it's a sipper. Or just sipper. It's just like samples. Mm. So you could choose. Cheers. Cheers guys. That's good. It's sweet. It doesn't taste like alcohol. Mm. Mm. It is it's fermented like agave. It's like cal calpico. Oh yeah. I like that one. This is like the real one. Is this like the is there one that's specific? Like um, well, I think this is just like the plain one, mm -hmm. and these are the flavors. So I think you said this one was the mazapan, frutas, and then I forgot cacao. Pulque yes. is a pre-Hispanic mm -hmm. beverage that's been in Mexico for thousands of years. Oh. So it's very traditional here. You only find it in Mexico, and specifically in Mexico City and the states oh, okay. around it. Yeah, the bigger glass, you can feel the sliminess more. Oh. I don't know why people say this is disgusting. Yeah. There's nothing about it. Maybe people don't like the sliminess. I don't know. The <laughs> thickness of it. Check it out. You give us some grasshoppers to try. What's it called again? Chocolines. Chocolines. Alright, go ahead. Can you enjoy the same cup? <laughs> Salty. Wow. Oh, it's really salty. Wow. Hmm. Flavor wise, it's fine. Yeah. It's just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad. No, I'll eat that. I'll eat that. Can you start with chili? Mm hmm. Yeah. Flavor's pretty good. We haven't posted anything on this channel in a long time. Uh, but that's because we haven't been doing much traveling. <laughs> One of the things we love besides doing all the catch and cooks is traveling. And eating. And eating. And one of the reasons we're in Mexico City is because we're actually on the way to Huatulco, Mexico. And it was much easier to just come here, stay for two days, than to go directly to Huatulco because we would have to leave at midnight from San Francisco for a four-hour flight, be stuck in the airport for four hours, and get our next flight and this is easier, better. Easy, yeah, easier. Always I mean, want to try Mexican street food in Mexico City. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it's kinda like two stones, one bird. <laughs> or one bird, two <laughs> two birds, one stone. <laughs> However that thing goes. <laughs> it's two birds, um, one stone. <laughs> two birds, one stone. Did I say that first or did I say two stones? Mm. <laughs> it takes me a couple tries. So. <laughs> food in Mexico City, it's super Super oily. <laughs> it's heavy. It's so heavy. It's heavy. heavy. <laughs> they put um, oil in everything. Even the when they're just cooking the tortillas, heating them up, they brush them with oil. <laughs> <laughs> but that makes it extra delicious. Oh. It's good. I like the spice level here. It's mm -hmm. perfect. And they make it's everything spicy. Yeah. yeah, actually spicy. All the salsa is perfect. It's so good. Haven't gotten sick yet. <laughs> Haven't gotten sick yet. <laughs> no, no sickness. I think as long as you, they say like as long as you avoid drinking like the tap water and stuff. Yeah. You got to make sure to drink bottled water. But the dangerous thing is the ice, right? Sometimes yeah. you don't know if the ice is coming from tap water or an actual bag or something. I've just been taking the risk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like my agua frescas. Yeah, agua fresca is good. Eat where it's busy. Don't eat where you don't see anyone else because I don't know, that's usually suspect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everywhere we've sense. eaten has been really busy. Yeah. And we've been getting around just fine because Jocelyn speaks Spanish. <laughs> and I... Yo hablo español too. <laughs> Un poquito. <laughs> Un poquito. No, I, I can speak enough to um, order and stuff and, you know, understand numbers mostly. And uh, ask how much and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. La biblioteca. <laughs> all right. Let's go.